Hello friends, my name is Christopher. Today I'm going to talk about building this ramp and a couple other closing thoughts I had as we finish building the shed. Finally the last video. This video is part 9 of a 9 part series in shed building. If you've watched all the other 8, way to go guys, you are my heroes and you have seen me go from on it to really tired and kind of out of it. I hope you've had fun watching me just deteriorate. Um, there is a feature length video if you want to see everything from start to finish. It's pretty good if I say so myself. And a four minute time lapse of this entire thing really quickly set to some sweet music. Um, let's talk about this ramp. When I first placed my order for my lumber shipment, I needed only two 2x6 two 12 foot treated boards really for the runners on the floorboard, which is part one of this whole series. It turns out I got 12. You know, the guy putting in the thing at the store, just keystroke 12 instead of two. And I didn't double check it correctly. And it turns out I got all these boards. It ended up being serendipitous because I used several of the two by fours to make the trimmer boards um, above my door and windows. And then I thought, I've got these extra treated ones. They're green treated, it's gonna go on the ground. Aha, I'll use a ramp. So I built this ramp. And I got inspiration by watching Wes Hamstra's video on building a ramp, even though his is angled. I just like Wes's stuff. He's a nice guy. We did a collab a couple years ago building a box. Um, link to that down in the description if you want to build an even nicer ramp than this. But I thought this it will meet the needs that I have and be very, very sturdy. Um, I checked out ADA compliance. I think you need to have one inch of rise for 12 inches of run. This definitely doesn't have that. Um, this is about 11 inches of rise for 48 inches of run. Um, so it's 13 degrees at the bottom there. Plenty comfortable if you're just putting a, a lawnmower or a snowblower or a bike or anything else up in your shed. And it's not intrusive, doesn't go into the yard. It works really nicely for me. Um, all I did was make a 13 degree cut on two of these boards that ran down. I beveled the end of this very top board here on my table saw downstairs so it would bump right up against the inside of my door. And then I cut the rest of the boards until they went down to the bottom. I screwed these in. These are the only things that I uh, use screws on for this entire project. Everything else was nails. They're exterior grade screws in case I need to replace boards or just take this off in the future. I can just unscrew it and away it goes. I think it is a perfect final touch. It's a lovely threshold as we get in. I don't think I'm going to stain this or anything else. It'll get washed by the rain and it'll darken and gray naturally over time. And I think it'll just blend in nicely with this, a little bit less of a fuss. I also decided just to trim the outside with extra wood chips. I have wood chips running all here and on the other side of my yard. It really does look very lovely and they're great for weed suppression and I need to get a whole great big dump of wood chips again this fall or next spring so this will tie me over in the meantime. It's an aesthetic thing to draw your eyes up from the grass up to the top here and also as the cedar comes up, can you see here? Sure, I'll move. As the cedar comes up to the shed my um, my six by six skim boards, skid Skid boards? Skids. That's right, my 6 by 6 12 foot boards that this is all built upon are not buried in the ground. They are proud. And you see if I pull this mulch away here, there's a couple inches of skid. So I just wanted to cover that up so it looks like the siding is stopping naturally at the mulch level. This video is coming to you as the shed is a blank canvas. As you can see, there's nothing in here except moi my um, lawnmower and a little bit of underlay, which are not in the shot and I didn't need to tell you about, but I did. Uh, obviously, we've got some work to do in here and we're not entirely sure what we're gonna do. Should I put insulation in here and then add sheathing on the inside and just panel it so that we can just throw nails in as we put up shelves and uh, hooks for or rakes and brooms and bikes and all that jazz? Maybe so. Um, should I build a little, little ladder that goes up here so I can get up to the top and throw things in between the joists of the rafters? Maybe so. 
We're going to be playing around with this over the next couple of weeks as the month of July rolls on and have, you know, something finalized. But I know we are going to keep this nice and orderly <laughs> uh, for the rest of our lives, right? Just like you, I'm sure. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I'm really proud of this build. It's a huge uh, achievement for me as I've been doing woodworking. This is the biggest thing that I've ever built. It's a huge structure and it is so sturdy and it's it's to code and I learned a ton and I can't wait to help friends and neighbors as they need to build these kind of things for themselves and of course the sun is right in my eyes wouldn't you know I've had a lot of fun filming this too this entire process I've learned so much and it's been really a privilege to share it with you I hope you've picked up a couple things if you're building a shed of your own uh, that are helpful on your process other youtubers help me and websites and it's it's a privilege to be able to add my contributions for you moving forward I also think this whole series is going to be great for my channel um, I've met like 13,000 subscribers right now we'll see if it takes off this is the first time I'm uploading 11 videos at once on a topic hopefully I hit some sort of algorithm we shall see if you stuck around for this entire nine part series and you watched that and everything else kudos to you. I really appreciate it. I hope you had some fun and learned some things. Uh, what else do you think I should do to the inside of the shed? Or are there any alterations? Alternations? Alterations I need to make to the exterior? What do you think? Are you in love with it as much as I am? I think it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, that's that. Thanks a lot for watching. If this is the first one you're watching, check out other parts in the nine part series. Watch the feature length or the time lapse. Leave a comment below, subscribe. I put out some decent gardening and home improvement projects. My name's Christopher. I've had a really wonderful time talking with you this evening. Take care, guys. Bye.